In today's video, I want to show you how you can export your complete website as an external file and how you can upload it to another domain. And it's very easy to do. So for this tutorial, I will use this example. That's a subdomain for my website. It's called testwebsitelearninglab.com. It doesn't really matter. It works the same for all websites. So if I now go to plugins, now you can see that only these two plugins are already have been installed and that are the plugins that are installed by default after you install WordPress with SiteGround. Next thing to do is to install a new plugin that we will need to export the website as an external file. And to add a new plugin, you can click on this button over here at new. So I'll do that. Then I go to the search plugins field and I will search for all in one like this and the one that I will recommend you to use and that's the one I also use myself is this one the all-in-one WP migration plugin by Surfmask you can click on the install now button so I'll do that you have to wait for the plugin to install and after that's done you can click on the blue activate button to activate the plugin so that's what I'm doing now and after that, you can see that the plugin has been activated. You can enable the auto updates option over here if you want to. I would also recommend you to do that. And then you can see that in the left menu over here in the WordPress dashboard, you can see that the all in one WP migration option has been added. And if you hover over it, you can see export, import and backups. So to export this website, you can click on the export option. Then you can click on this green button over here, export to, click on it. And now you see that you have a lot of different options on how to export your website. But in this case, I'll go for the file type. So I'll click on it. And now you see that preparing to export has been displayed. So now you have to wait for everything to complete. And after that's done, you can see that this button appears, download testwebsitelearninglab.com. Click on it and then the file starts downloading. And in this case, the file size is very small because I don't have added any pages or posts yet. So if you add more content to your website, logically the file size will increase. So you can see that the file has been downloaded over here. So I can close this. And there's one thing I almost forgot to mention, which is a very helpful feature in that you can see over here, find text, replace with another text in the database. So if you click on it, then you see two fields will appear. This is a very helpful feature and you can use it to replace the text in all parts of your website. So the things that you can see as a visitor, but also in all the databases and everything. And that's very useful if you want to use this complete website as a template for another website on another domain. And let's say the website on the other domain has also another domain name. Then you can change uh, or the then you can fill in the name of this website right here. So in this case, it's because it's a subdomain, the text is test.websitelearninglab.com. And for example, in this replace field, I will fill in something completely different, like example tutorial. And if I now export the file, then in the database and all the parts of the website where this text is used, it will, it will be replaced to this text. So if you import this file into another domain, then you don't have to manually change all the text from the old domain to the new domain. So that's very helpful. And if you now select an export option like file, for example, then everything will be replaced. So let's say I want to upload this file into another domain. Then the only thing you have to do is go to the new domain. And for this example, I just use this domain. So let's say this is the dashboard for another website. Then I have to make sure that the all-in-one WP migration plugin has been installed. Then I go to import. And over here you can drag and drop a backup to import it. Or you can click on the options over here and you can import it from another source. But in this case, you just drag the file into this field over here. And now you see that it will be uploaded. And that's the only thing that you have to do. After the uploading is finished, you will see this option. And then you can click on proceed. 
and then you can see this notification your site has been imported successfully then you click on finish and that's the only thing you need to do to export your website as an external file and you can upload it to any other domain that you have and with the search and replace function over here at export you can also change the domain name and replace it with the new domain name so then everything in the databases and all the text on your website has already been replaced with the new domain so that's a great feature so i hope this quick video was helpful if that's the case make sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up i would appreciate it if you would like a comment and if you have any questions also make sure to let me know i will do my best to try to help you out make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on new videos that will be uploaded and we'll see each other again in the next video